Hello folks, this is another video that I'm going to make about the whole plan that is being concocted over this whole CRT shit. Now, I hope people understand something about critical race theory that people don't seem to want to understand here. First off, you can smell it's bullshit, the concern, because number one, this has been a sort of theory that's been around since the 1960s. I'm not talking about critical theory, and you guys want to bring up cultural Marxism and Gramsci, without even understanding that Gramsci was using code because he was imprisoned by fascists. But that's beyond the point. The main point of the matter is, is that the anti-critical race theory people, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think a bunch of you guys are, are a bunch of flying monkeys. What I mean by this is, the main objective of, of this whole rush by conservatives to go after CRT, it has nothing to fucking do as a moral panic. It is being used by the GOP to go after, you already know what they're trying to go after, folks. It's the teachers union. That is the plan. That was always the fucking plan. So that's why I'm suspicious about anyone talking about it, because the GOP, this is the stroke of genius of what they did with the anti-CRT thing. They've literally took an advantage of white fragility and they've managed to weaponize it in order for them to go after teacher unions, because that's the plan that was always the goal with anti-CRT stuff. Because let me tell you something. All of a sudden, you guys are concerned about CRT, even though this thing's been around since the 60s. And in the year of our Lord, 2021, now's the time you motherfuckers bring it up? Hmm? I'm sorry if I sound pretty vulgar here, but I got to tell you, it, it reeks of the bullshit a thousand times over. Because this has been around since the 60s. You know what's funny? Let me take a little story for a minute. The Alabama GOP, they tried to pass a law that would ban, quote unquote, critical race theory, right? What happened was, one of their professors at Alabama University, guess what they found out? Because the story was dropped immediately. You never heard about the about what happened because the GOP made sure we're not going to let's not bring this up at all. Um, a professor, they found out that the professor was teaching critical race theory and he's been teaching at the university of Alabama, that legal theory <laughs> since 1982. So, so the Alabama GOP basically were like, oh, dump the story, dump the story. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. That's literally what they did. They literally just did that because they're like, you know what? Uh, let's not talk about the law about banning uh, CRT in Alabama because, you know, we didn't know we had a professor there that, that, that did that. Oh, you guys didn't know there was a professor that taught COT. The same University of Alabama that a lot of those same state Republican legislators in Alabama went to. So, you know, the game was almost gave the way. So they made sure to basically just, oh, we're just going to ignore that uh, now. We're just going to ignore that that part of the story. Also, another reason why I think this whole anti-CR, uh, this anti-CRT thing is bullshit. Number one, the parents that are complaining at the, at the, at the school boards. I'm no, I'm noticing that this is the goal you got. Now, this is also another goal of the GOP, which is indoctrination because they don't want your kids to learn anything. They don't want your kids to do critical thinking. They want you, your kids to be indoctrinated puppets juiced up on American jingoism so when they send your kids to die in another country, so that's, the, you know, that's what it is. So, because Marco Rubio, he said it. That's basically what the point, that's basically what Marco Rubio was making a point about, about, oh, we don't want our kids to do this, blah, blah, blah. Nah, you want your kids to be indoctrinated. Now, the religious fundamentalists who 
these guys are always around. The Christian right always uh, didn't like anything in education curriculum that didn't venerate Christianity or glorify the founding fathers. So those people, they've been in the game longer. So I, they're not my concern because they've been around bitching about this ever since, um, <laughs> to be honest, if you want to go back, maybe ever since the theory of evolution. But to, to be honest, you know, biblical liber, uh, literalism is actually a recent phenomenon. It's not, it's not old. <laughs> it's, it's fairly recent. You know, it came around the 19th century. Um, some say late late 18th century. This is where biblical literalism started becoming a thing. But besides that point, you see these parents going into the school boards complaining about, well, this, they're teaching about how bad, you know, they're teaching the, the, these white kids how bad they are. I'm like, wait, really? You know what's crazy? These are school boards for kids who are in middle school and elementary school when critical race theory is taught in fucking college. It's not taught in high school. It's not taught. It's for people who are aspiring to be fucking lawyers. So that's how I knew that this thing, this RNT CRT thing, it's a moral panic, at one, and it's an astroturf bullshit because the main goal is for the GOP to basically go after the teachers union. That is why they're doing this. That's why they're telling, you already see Fox News talking out the side of their mouth about CRT saying, hey, you guys got to do something on a local level. Why are they talking about doing it on a local level for? Because they want to go after the unions. They don't go after the teachers. You. That's the plan. That always was the fucking plan. This is why the CRT thing, this whole thing is nonsense to me. Because I look at it, not only does it play into like, it basically, as my friend would say, it's basically white fragility bullshit. Because some of the parents are just talking about how we don't want our kids to know about certain things about slavery and Jim Crow. Some reason... Learning about the history of slavery and Jim Crow, meaning extra stuff or the treatment of indigenous people, that somehow is equivalent. That is part of CRT, apparently. I mean, in a framework, it is. But that's just history. You basically don't want your kids to know anything about history. I mean, you guys basically want your children to be ostriches that don't know anything. I mean, this is, I mean, no, this is why I've, I've always felt, you know, I just made this video now because my previous one was about CRT in general, but this one, I already know this video. I made this point to basically say that this is AstroTurf bullshit. This is the GOP using ironically white fragility to to essentially aggrievement to basically do their overall end goal which is basically to to gut the teachers union i mean that's the fucking plan and i knew it was astroturf especially with the alabama uh story where all of a sudden the alabama lawmakers were just like oh we're just gonna you know what we're just gonna ignore the University of Alabama's uh, professor that actually teaches critical race theory, and he's been teaching it since 1981. We're just going to ignore that. Because that fucks up our narrative. You know, because the idea is CRT is supposed to be new. It's supposed to be a new thing. And that's what people of critical race theory have been trying to tell you. Nah, bro, we've been around since the late 60s. Y Y'all acting like we, we've never been around. <laughs> we've always been... CRT's always been around. Critical thing. It's always been around. All of a sudden, hmm, this is a new thing. How's it a new thing? Well, y'all motherfuckers locked up? I mean, I mean, seriously. Seriously. You just now figured out there's a thing called CRT. That's why you know it's astroturf nonsense. Because you got parents in school boards, as I said again, going, talking about how they don't want their kids to know about basic, well, basically they don't want their kids to know about anything about history. 
Because if you teach your kids about the horribleness of Jim Crow and any other thing, act of slavery, somehow that makes white people look bad. Like, it makes modern white people look bad. We're talking about the past here? I mean, that's a whole nother discussion. But it's it's just like, the fuck? And we know it's, uh, and now I'm, I'm starting to see what it is. I mean, uh, the people who are promoting it, those who are the true believers, to be honest, I mean, you guys are just flying monkeys for, for the actual GOP's actual real plan, which is to get rid of the teachers union. That's their fucking plan. I mean, these guys wouldn't even give a shit about CRT. I mean, most of these, and, and that's what gave the game away with the Alabama story, because these guys... <laughs> Some of these, some of these same GOP guys in Alabama went to the same goddamn class as the teacher who taught critical race theory at the University of Alabama, who are state legislators. They knew who the teacher was, and that's why they were just like, uh, the professor, right? And they're just like, oh, well, we're just gonna act like the story didn't happen because, because next thing you know, that's not good. Because if you start blaming critical race theory going after the University of Alabama, that professor's probably going to come out with receipts and be like, oh, wait a minute. You're going after me and my profession now. Okay. I remember you used to be in my class for critical race theory back in 1984. They didn't want that. They didn't, they didn't want that to happen to them. So the Alabama story was dropped real quick um, <laughs> by the GOP. That's how I know this is AstroTurf because the, the plan is to go after teachers unions because I'm, I'm watching the videos of all the parents at school boards and all this other shit. And when I'm seeing what the parents are saying is it just feels like white fragility Olympics. It's like, it's like complete. It's like the, if you look, you look at the epitome of white fragility, you just watch those videos. And then another thing is they're complaining about you're teaching curriculum in elementary and high school. And it's like, dude, it's taught in fucking college by lawyers. For those who are aspiring to be lawyers. You're telling me this shit is taught in high school and in elementary school. The elementary school claim is... So, you know, that, it's, it's ridiculous. And basically, they're just hearing this crap from Fox News. Because Fox News is generating you guys to be cannon fodder to go after the teacher union. You're the, you're the patsies. You're the ones that are being sent out for the main goal behind, which is we got to get rid of the teachers union because they, they are the biggest donors of the Democratic Party. We got to get rid of them. Plus, the, plus, oh yeah, that's right. We the GOP, we want to privatize education. And the teachers union is the obstacle for us to privatize education. Guys, this is what this whole thing is about. The CRT crap, this moral, this fake outraged nonsense. You know what's crazy? People who study CRT have been tell have been saying, why are you guys mad about this now? Where were the Christian evangelicals in the 80s complaining about this? They weren't there. It's only now in the year 2021. Critical race theory is the worst thing to happen on the planet. I mean, give me a fucking break, people. And they're using the heartstrings and their support and their supporters and concerned parents who are concerned for basically nothing. Because critical race theory isn't even taught in high school nor in fucking elementary school. It's only taught in college when you, if you want to aspire to be a fucking lawyer. <sighs> My God, this whole thing is just astroturf. So again, I'll leave the video there, and I want people to understand and be vigilant on the situation of why we, they are doing this whole situation with a CRT, because the whole goal is primarily to gut the teachers' union. And I believe it also serves as a goal for the project of privatization of education. 
That's the plan. That is the goal. The GOP is using these people as flying monkeys and cannon fodder for what they actually want to do, which is go after the teachers' union. And the teachers' union for, for, for years has been the one union that has stood in the way for the project. Ever since Bill Gates waiting for Superman, the project of privatized education. So I'll leave it there at that, folks.